Hello, Phil Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Pray uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Yes, we are actually on disc two. I'm going to try to get through this quickly. And wow, well, there's there's no real point in talking to um, a lot of these people or trying to find new stuff, if I remember correctly. I might just quickly talk to her because. It might be possible that you have to trigger an event here. But yeah, this uh, this area has plenty of these. You don't need to go looking for these creatures that, again, for some reason, have decided that the best thing to do is to dance to the music here. I think I have the. Uh, I think I have it on um, fast battle speed, which uh, does tend to make this bit not last quite as long, but uh, also means the enemies get more attacks in. So it's kind of a trade off. I'm probably just going to do that. Anyway. They'll, they'll irritate you by doing that. Do you have anything to say to a girl? No, no you do not. Ah yes, I think I may have to have, uh, have to trigger this before the next thing we bob happens. Oh wow, well, I, I would like to find that misspelling cute, but I just find it stupid. I think that's supposed to be them laughing. I know, it, it looks sort of awkward. Please stand directly in my way, little girl. To be honest, I don't care about any of these, but I might as well go for one of them. That's strange, because I've never noticed any of the characters on here any sort of facial expression. I don't really want to know anything. I just want to get the sequence over with. Seriously, I'm I'm just gonna get this this done as quickly as possible. Well that was a simple question.
far as I remember, there's nothing interesting down there. There are, um, that's a course in Chocobo's uh, sign. Yeah, the, the running looks really stupid. There are side quests I can do to get specific cards, for example. But, well, I'm not going to do them. They just don't seem worth it to me, basically. Alright, this is a game where it's not good enough for me to really care about side quests and stuff like that. I just want to get the main thought over with. So, apart from the couple of Guardian forces, I not, don't think I'm even going to get all of those. This this isn't really worth my doing the extra things I can do. For a bit of variety, let's... Oh, okay, we can't go that way. It's fine. Oh, who cares? <laughs> what? There's... What? Is there something wrong with changing your routine occasionally? Oh, right, I'm gonna skip ahead until we get to somewhere that's actually interesting. Well, what would you call it? Seems like a really boring town. So instead of uh, I've counted five people in the entire town, you might get what ten people in the entire town. You know what the great thing about their patrolling is? That there continues to be the same number of monsters respawning, whether, no matter how many you do or don't uh, destroy. So his patrol is utterly pointless.
I counted more than one. Yeah, that that one monster <laughs> really gave him an appetite. I. Okay, so yeah, we need to go back into the other building. Now. I do complain about this game a lot, but honestly, this entire sequence is just... You fight the same series of monsters as you go from one bland location to another bland location, and then make your way back again. And that's it. And trust me, the narrative could would be the same whether we had this bit or not. It has no effect on the overall plot. It really doesn't. Are you gonna watch him sleep? Well, we've got a long sequence coming up, which I do intend to show off, because this is a really boring sequence to have to show you. Yes, this is called Vacant House, even though people live here. Might you think something's the matter? Alright, fine, whatever. I don't know if that means he gets a sense that uh, he's not actually him and this is some strange dream or what. Alright, this is the start of a very long sequence that I'm just going to have to show off until I get to the next save point. So this is going to be a long episode but I'll try to cut up to continue cutting out unnecessary battles. There's also a lot of cut- well, I'll get to the cutscenes later. Okay, so someone else must have been dreaming as well. This is one of those sequences where you have to talk to people. So you had to talk to her. I didn't know who we had to talk to, but it's her apparently. I'm not sure why she couldn't say this before I talked to her. Evidently not.
Yep, he's uh, he's not hurt anymore. Now, some people have pointed to this and various other things I'll point out later in the game and said this proves that he's actually dying throughout discs uh, 2, 3, and 4. And all of this is just him imagining in his last few seconds of life what... Uh, what would have happened if he'd lived. After all, he was wondering earlier what uh, would happen to him when he died. Would people still talk about him or not, and so on. And in my opinion, the plot makes a lot more sense if you believe that actually this is him imagining this stuff whilst he's dying. But, unfortunately, uh, one of the people who made the game has now gone on record as saying, no, uh, Scrawl is not dying throughout the game, which leads me to believe that the writers were just very drunk or very high when they came up with this utter mess of a plot. But don't worry, it, it gets stupider from here. So I prefer to pretend that it's always dead. I don't care what the people who made the game say. The, the plot just makes more sense to me that way. So, it might not be a good idea to insult someone with a gun and a boot. Now, this is a thing that I don't get. I appreciate that the, the limited technology, as I said, meant that the characters can't actually talk. But still, what's the point in an unskippable cutscene, which this is, that lasts a long time, which this cutscene does, if you have to keep on pressing the button during the cutscene in order to move to the next bit of dialogue? It means that I can't even read a book whilst I'm waiting for the cutscene to finish if I have to make, watch it more than once. Um, you, you worked the seed. Why, why do you not know this? No, you were just trying to be one and very nearly became one. 
they give you no information at all about what you have been trained for. Yeah, the switch he's using now is for the invisible. I would just like to see that this happened to score for that. It might seem brutal, but this game annoys me. Okay, that's enough. It brought an empty plate for us. There, there really isn't that much use to be frank. Unfortunately, I've got a feeling that. No, never mind. Yeah, that was a really stupid guy.
That's a really bad lie as well. I'm surprised he bought that. So we need to find... Now the trouble is that there are guards here, and I don't remember exactly where they are. I think we have to go upwards. Okay, yes, yes we do. That's her, uh, her chain there. So I guess we need to just go straight towards them. There are some battles you have to fight. I'm gonna try not to fight the ones that you don't win. Good job I didn't keep the weapons in a locked room. That's what I would have done. Okay, so I'm guessing they need Jensen again. I'm not sure whether uh, they'll actually be able to use magic. I don't remember. But I'll do for a moment. So, yeah, I, I might not show off all of this battle. I don't think there's a lot to it, other than uh, what we did last time. But if I have anything to say, I will say it. Ah, I can scan them. Reflect is very useful. I suggest you use one of these characters for the GF and uh, the others to draw stuff here.
all of their attacks are pretty helpful in fact. Okay, well, uh, Private is below Lieutenant. I'm surprised you don't know that since uh, the person you're fighting uh, next to is being, being busted down to Private. Uh, anyway, um, I suggest that you use that battle to get as many, uh, draw as much magic from them as possible because they have a lot of things like regen and slow pace that I'll slow show off eventually that are very helpful. Apart from that, there's nothing really to say, which is why I cut a lot of that out. I'm not really sure the anti-magic field matters that much since Wedge and Diggs try to use magic. Uh, and we could use magic in that last fight as well, I think. Fortunately, one of the effects of Siren is it can use silence. That sort of happens automatically sometimes, and when it does, it means enemies can no longer use magic. Now, unfortunately, this means that we run into more monsters whilst we're running, wandering around here. But there are some useful things you can find here, so I suggest you uh, use them, find them. So all of the useful things should be in any extra door that we have here. Some of the extra doors don't work, and some of them do. I think Squall is above us. I wouldn't advise going anywhere else unless you have to, because the other places just put more monsters in your way. I'll show it off if the monster is something new. Yeah, these robots. Fair enough. Drawing from them might be a good idea. Haste makes your characters uh, work faster, basically, and slow makes uh, whoever you use it on. So, probably not your characters uh, move slower. They are rather hard to draw.
that's enough uh, drawing, I think. I'm not sure how you're planning on seeing us with your own eyes. Were you just hoping that we would come in here? Was that the idea? Okay, so I think that's probably it for uh, us getting used to items. Well, on that floor, there's, uh, there's probably more on this floor. Since we don't seem to be able to get around there that way, we're going to have to go around there this way. Since they don't really have uh, much magic, I suggest letting all of them have uh, draw. No, I don't think there's anything in that. If I've missed something, then I've missed something. But if I can't get round there, that might be a clue if that does a draw. Um. Okay, not quite a draw point. Guess he's just going to stay there. Maybe he likes it there. I'm thinking there might be a hidden draw point here, but I don't think there is. But there is one of these. It's new, so I might as well show it off. I assume it can be quite helpful.
Don't waste a lot of time hunting monsters with these doors, but... Okay, yeah, I may have missed one or two things that were, were the way these. Okay, well, you know what? Not right now. I will show off the card game at some point, I promise, but not right now. Okay, I think we've probably fought enough creatures by now. Unless you do that to all of us, we are getting away. Okay, can't open that one. Oh my, screw it, I'm not wasting my time here. Alright, I'm gonna have to hope he's up here. I really don't want to go all the way back down there again. Okay, that was about 15 guards, and yes, there's still more to go, but I am skipping every uh, battle that I can now, so hopefully we're near a save point. Next episode is going to be shorter. I would have just shown off the village and kept all the stuff in the prison for the episode after this, but I thought the village is pretty boring. And not having an entire episode just with that, so... Not sure how his sword disappeared. Did you forget that, um, the door was locked? Fortunately, I don't think you had attacked by monsters in here. Ah, now it's allowing me to do that.
I'm one seed, you idiot. Oh good. I've now been playing this for an hour and a half. I don't know why the people who created the game thought this would still be fun. I suggest you get... Alright, fine. Doesn't look like we can go that way. Let's go this way instead. Oh, who cares? Shut up! You're all idiots! Sorry, I know, that was a little harsh, but I really am getting sick of this. Found why she has the uh, uh, electric guardian. It's going to be a G F. It's going to be useful to us. I'm going to try to look for. Well, I think we have to go all the way uh, around here anyway. Might see if there's a save point somewhere. I don't think there is. Though, oh, I am going to skip a lot of this. I oh, thank you for. Uh, I think the episode's been going on for long enough now, actually. Uh, yeah, you can say that again. Morgan Apples. Oh, 
Oh, okay, there's more going downwards. Oh, at last! Okay! This is a brilliant place to stop the episode, because it's enough. 